Hi Lash Lover, today I'm going to be showing you how I do my spiked wispy volume set. So here I'm just showing you the mapping that I'm doing for this particular wispy set. And as you can see, I am starting off shorter in the inner corner and I will also go shorter in the outer corner. This is just good practice for any type of lash extension set that you are doing. You wanna keep the inner and the outer corner short so that they do not fall out easily and they also don't bug your client. And as you can see, I am putting two numbers on top of each other. The first number is going to be the regular hybrid lashes that I'm putting in. Those are my regular fans. And then that top number is going to be my wispy spiked volume fan. So here you can see that these fans are very tight. I have four to five lashes all bunched really closely together and that is what gives you that spiked appearance. And so I am putting eight of these spikes throughout the volume set. I am trying to keep them primarily in the middle and to the outer corner. Um, I'll do one really short one semi in the inner corner. You don't want to go too close to the inner corner because again that will just rub the upper eyelid and cause irritation to the client. And you can see that I am doing this first. That way I can see where these spikes want to live and then I can see where I need to fill around them. So here you can see I've now done all the spikes I want to do and now I am taking a more fanned out volume lash and just filling right up against those spikes. You'll see that eventually I start going back and forth between volume and classic lash extensions and I'm trying to do a one-to-one -one ratio here. So I do a spike, classic, volume, classic, volume, classic, etc. And you can change this depending on your client's preferences. If they want a more dramatic and thick set, you can do more like a 70-30, so 70% volume, 30% classic, and so on, and just keep getting thicker with the classic. And then again, vice versa, if they want a more lived in, natural look, you will want to do more classics than volumes. And that is what I really, really love about this particular mapping, is that they can get that spiked strip lash look that is really lived in and natural, but it is your ability and your decision on how natural you want it to look based on their preferences. So here I will just let you guys watch as I place all of these lashes and I hope you enjoy. Here in just a moment, you will see the final result from the side. It is very spiky, very strip lash looking, but it is just gorgeous when the client opens the eye. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and this tutorial. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below. Thanks so much.